Unleashing your potential is not a passive act, but a deliberate endeavor akin to the unwavering force of a river carving its way through stone. It is not bound by the constraints of time, for potential is ever present, whispering to us in moments of quiet and shouting in times of clarity. To unleash this potential is to answer a primal call from within, a call to action and being that resonates with the core of what it means to be alive. In this endeavor, the mind becomes an instrument of profound change. It is in the power of thought that the seeds of transformation are sown. Thoughts are not mere reflections of reality. They are the blueprints of what reality can become. By changing the pattern of your thoughts, you engage in the most ancient form of alchemy, turning the lead of dormant possibility into the gold of realized action. It is an intimate dance between the self and the fabric of reality, where every step of intention weaves a new thread into the tapestry of existence. Potential, therefore, is not a predetermined destiny, but an open sky of possibilities a canvas upon which one's inner vision can be projected outward, painted in the colors of their unique perception and will. To unleash your potential is to break free from the chrysalis of doubt, to spread the wings of your capability and glide into the updrafts of possibility. It is to acknowledge that within you lies dormant valleys of untapped power, waiting for the spark of your conscious intent to set them ablaze with purpose and action. In the silence of introspection, one can hear the subtle call to this greatness, a gentle urging to rise beyond the mundane and the ordinary. It is in this quietude that the symphony of potential crescendos and the self if attuned, can orchestrate a life of deliberate creation and sublime fulfillment. The power of belief is a silent engine that drives the human spirit towards its highest peaks. It operates on a level that transcends the physical, planting its roots deep within the fertile ground of the psyche. Beliefs shape the lenses through which we view the tapestry of reality, coloring our perceptions with the hues of our inner narrative. Belief is the invisible architect of our experiences, constructing barriers where there are none or building bridges to previously unreachable destinations. When one nurtures the belief that their time of greatness is upon them, a subtle, yet profound shift occurs within the architecture of their thoughts. This shift is not a grand upheaval, but a quiet revolution, where the old paradigms of limitation slowly crumble and are replaced like a masterful composer who knows that the silence between notes is as crucial as the notes themselves. Belief works in the spaces between our actions our thoughts, and the moments that define our reality. It is in these interstices that belief weaves its most potent magic, transforming the silence into symphonies of action and reaction. Belief does not demand the visible evidence of its truth to function. It is a force that precedes reality. By holding a belief, one sets in motion the wheels of the universe, aligning the cosmic gears to produce the outcomes that resonate with the frequency of that belief. It is a testament to the power of the human will, a clear signal to the cosmos of our intention and our resolve. To harness the power of belief is to take hold of this cosmic dialogue and assert a narrative of one's own choosing. It is to stand in the center of the storm of chaos and uncertainty claiming the calm not as a temporary refuge, but as a permanent state of being. In this calm, belief becomes more than just a thought or a feeling. It becomes a beacon that guides one through the fog of doubt, lighting the way toward the dawn of their most radiant self. 
the self as the sculptor is an embodiment of personal agency, wielding the chisel of conscious choice upon the marble block of existence. In this act of shaping, the self is both the artist and the medium, the creator and the clay. Every thought is a deliberate stroke. Every decision, a defined contour that gradually reveals the form within the formless. This sculpture is not predestined. It is a work in progress, ever emerging as the self engages with the transformative act of living. With every moment, the self-sculptor assesses and carves away what no longer serves, polishing the facets that reflect their truest intentions. The act of sculpting is not forceful, but mindful, recognizing that within the roughness of uncut stone lies a masterpiece awaiting release. In this artistic endeavor, the tools are as ethereal as the vision. The chisel is will. The hammer is determination. The self-sculptor works with the medium of their own being, understanding that the substance of life can be shaped and reshaped by the force of personal will, aligned with the blueprint of one's aspirations. The process of becoming the sculptor is a silent revolution against the given shape of things, an assertion of the right to form one's own destiny. It is an understanding that life, while presenting its raw material, grants the individual the sacred privilege to render from it a form that resonates with their deepest sense of self. In the hands of the self-sculptor, potential is not a static trait, but a dynamic force, the possibility of what can be, held within the certainty of what is. The self, as the sculptor, is a perpetual creator, one who sees not just the solidity of present, but the fluidity of the future, recognizing that within their grasp lies the ability to mold their journey in the image of their highest vision. The quantum leap of intention is a profound pivot from the probabilistic to the actual, a leap from the realm of random chance into the arms of purposeful direction. Intention is the rudder on the ship, navigating the vast seas of existence. It doesn't just set the course. It harnesses the winds of will to propel the vessel forward, cutting through the waves of circumstance with deliberate steerage. This leap is not a mere step, but a trans-dimensional shift, where the microcosm of personal desire aligns with the macrocosm of universal possibility. It's the moment when the seed of thought, imbued with the energy of intention, breaks through the soil into the light of manifestation. The process is subtle, almost imperceptible, like the movement of the hour hand on a clock. You don't see it move, but you feel the time has passed and the landscape has changed. An intention is both the whisper of a promise to oneself and a declaration shouted into the void demanding to be heard. It's a pledge that one does not merely exist within the confines of reality, but actively participates in its creation. When you set an intention, you cast a stone into the waters of the cosmos, and the ripples reshape the shores of your world. It is through intention that the mind's eye focuses not on the world as it is, but on the world as it could be. With this focus, the energy of thought condenses into the material, pulling the ethereal into the tangible. The leap of intention is the dance of creation, a choreography that dictates the rhythm of becoming, inviting the universe to step in harmony with personal aspiration. This leap, then, is a testament to the creative power vested in conscious beings, a reminder that within the crucible of thought, fueled by the fire of intention, lies the alchemy of transformation. It is the crossing of a threshold from passive observer to active creator, a journey that begins within and radiates outward, echoing the fundamental principle that the outer world is but a reflection of the inner realm. Mastery of the mind is an intimate and profound dialogue with oneself, 
a journey into the deepest chambers of consciousness where true control and understanding reside. It is not about subduing thoughts or emotions, but about navigating them with wisdom and insight. This mastery is the art of positioning oneself at the helm of the internal narrative, steering through the currents of thoughts and the tides of feelings with a deft hand and a clear eye. The mind, a boundless landscape with infinite potential, can become a sanctuary of peace or a battlefield of discord, depending on the mastery one exercises over it. To master the mind is to understand its nature, to recognize its patterns, and to direct its flow. It's the quiet confidence of a conductor before an orchestra. Each thought, an instrument, each emotion, a note, all waiting for the cue to harmonize into the symphony of experience. In this realm, awareness is king. With keen observation, one learns the language of their own psyche, listening to the whispers of intuition and the echoes of reason. It's in this space that thoughts are chosen, like threads of silk, carefully selected to weave the fabric of reality. The mastered mind is a fertile ground for seeds of intention, sown with precision and care, ensuring that what blooms forth is the power of such mastery. This mastery is not an overt display, but an understated command. The quiet assurance that comes from knowing that your internal world is your own. That no wave of external circumstance can unsettle the calm waters of a well-ordered mind. It is in this serenity that decisions are not reactions, but choices. The fruit of a mind that sees beyond the illusions of chaos and the mirages of the ephemeral mastery of the mind is thus a continual process of refinement and understanding, a perpetual balance between the conscious and the subconscious, the emotional and the rational. It is the ultimate freedom, for when one directs the mind with intention and clarity, the shackles of uncertainty fall away, revealing the true power of consciousness to shape, to define, and to create the reality in which one chooses to live. The alchemy of transformation is an internal metamorphosis, a process as subtle and profound as the transition from night to day. It's the quiet evolution that occurs within the crucible of the self, where the raw materials of experience are transmuted into the gold of wisdom. This alchemy doesn't require the flames of a forge, but the gentle, persistent glow of self-awareness. Transformation is not a single event, but a series of small, continuous changes, each compounding upon the last. Like layers of paint on a canvas that together create a masterpiece. The alchemist in this process is the self, both the subject and the object of transformation. It is a journey inward to the core of our being, where we hold the power to change not only who we are, but also the world in which we live. In this personal alchemy, the base elements are thoughts and beliefs, often unexamined, inherited from the past or absorbed from the surroundings. The transmutation begins when one brings these elements into the light of consciousness, examining and refining them. What is discovered during this introspection is the philosopher's stone. The realization that the power to change one's reality has always been within. As this understanding deepens, the internal dialogue shifts and the weight of doubt and fear begins to dissolve, replaced by the golden clarity of purpose and self-assuredness. It is a transformation that does not happen to us, but through us, a willing collaboration between the self and the forces that shape our existence. This alchemy is both personal and universal, reflecting the ancient hermetic principle, as above, so below, as within, so without. The changes we orchestrate in the silent chambers of our soul are reflected in the external reality we inhabit. Our inner evolution, therefore, is not a solitary pursuit, 
but a contribution to the collective growth of humanity. The alchemy of transformation is the recognition that each of us is an artisan of our own destiny, capable of crafting a life of meaning and substance from the seemingly mundane materials of daily existence. It is the ultimate act of creation, a sacred responsibility to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary through the magic of our own will. Remember, the stage is set, the spotlight is on, and the audience of the universe awaits. Your time to shine is not just an opportunity, but a call to rise to the occasion of your own magnificence.